when Jesus was giving birth to, the Bible said, and the angels landed and said, ah, something has happened amongst men. He said, something of great joy. It will bring, he said, rejoice. Rejoice. For God is amongst men. God is amongst men. He said, something that is of exceeding great joy. God has come to men. God has come to men. The Bible said, and the, and the shepherds, and they ran. Some other wise men, where they were, spotted the stars and said, these stars means something has happened. An extraordinary king has been born. And they ran and came and paid their homage. The Bible said, in the fullness of time, when Jesus had grown, he discovered by the books what was written of him as it was prophesied in Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1. For the spirit of the Lord is upon me. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He saw the prophecy over his own life. Everybody read. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me. was spoken about him. In Luke chapter 4 verse 18, we saw the manifestation of that. Jesus himself. Again. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. This is the place he has found it in the books because he has anointed me to preach the gospel. He said to the poor, he has sent me to heal the broken heart and read them. To proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set a liberty those who are oppressed. The Bible went further to show it in Acts of the Apostles chapter 10 verse 38. He said, how God had anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Acts of the Apostles chapter 10 verse 38. I want everybody to read it together. I don't think this is everybody. I, I said I want everybody to read it together. God anointed. So, outside God, Jesus himself, outside the anointing, the infilling, the fooling of the Holy Spirit, it would have just been normal Jesus that is in Israel. But God anointed him with the Holy Spirit and the power show me the scriptures. And he went about doing good. Look at it. Went about doing good. Healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. For the spirit of the Lord is upon me. And if you go all through the scriptures, you will see the consistency and the manifestation of this anointing of God. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. How God has anointed Jesus. So this is the fulfillment of it. And he was going about doing good. Healing all that we are oppressed of the devil. Why? Because God was with him. So when this happened, what continued happening in the scriptures? If you read the scriptures and you go down, go down, go down, you will see all manner, Jesus doing all manner of miracles, all manner of healings. Matthew chapter 8 verse 16 the Bible and he healed them that were sick he healed all who were sick Matthew chapter 14 verse 14 and he the multitude they came to him and the Bible said and he healed them why because the spirit of the Lord was upon him because God has anointed him he healed them all Matthew chapter 19 verse 2 he healed them all and a great multitude followed him. Him and he. Did you? Are you coming for a second service? And he did what? He and he healed them all. He healed them. He healed them. Matthew chapter 21 verse 14. 
Then the blind, come on now, everybody read. Then the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. Matthew chapter 12 verse 15. The next verse 15. But 21 verse 15. But when Jesus knew, he withdrew from there and a great multitude followed him and he he healed them all. Mark chapter 6 verse 56. Mark chapter 6 verse 56. Wherefore he entered into the village. The Bible said, and as many as touched him, we are made well. As many as touched him, we are made well. Mark chapter 3 verse 10. Mark chapter 3 verse 10. For he healed many, so that as many as had afflictions pressed about him to touch him. Luke chapter 4 verse 40. I know why I'm reciting this. It's like recitation. When the sun was setting, all those who had any, all those who had any that were sick with various sicknesses brought them to him. And he laid his hand on every one of them. And he healed them. Luke chapter 6 verse 19. Luke chapter 6 verse 19. And when the whole multitude sought to touch him, for power went out from him. And healed Come on now. You have to be saying it. Let your mind hear it. And he healed. Luke chapter 5 verse 17. Now it happened that a certain day as he was teaching. There were Pharisees. Teachers of the Lord sitting. And who came out every town of Galilee, Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present. To do what? Come on now. And the power of the Lord was present to do what? Yeah. To heal them up. Luke chapter 9 verse 11. And when the multitude knew it, they followed him and he received them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God and healed those who had need of healing. And healed those who had need of healing. And he healed those who had need of healing. Luke chapter 9 verse 1. Luke chapter 9 verse 1. And he called his 12 disciples. <laughs> Should I go back? Jesus was born. And there was a prophecy over his life. That there, that there will be anointed of God upon him. The spirit of the Lord will be upon him. To heal all manner of things. And over the time he came. And saw it where it was written. For the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He now said. And the Bible said in Acts of the Apostles. 10, 38. And how God has anointed him. And given him the name. And how the and anointed with the Holy Spirit. And the power. And he went about doing good. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Then. It started manifesting all through Matthew, Mark, Luke. He healed them all. He healed them all. He healed them all. He healed them all. Luke chapter 9 verse 1. Then he called the 12 disciples together and gave them the power. The same thing that manifested in them, in him. How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and with power. And he went about doing good. He led all that were oppressed of the devil. For the Spirit of the Lord is upon him. He has anointed me. The Bible said, and he healed them all. He made them. He saw compassion. He healed them all. Luke chapter 9 verse 11. And he saw all that had need of healing. He gave it to them. Then verse 1. And he called the multitude. He called the twelve. And now told them, the spirit of the Lord that is upon me, this is me, I have been doing. It is time for me to hand it over to you. That is why the great commission is, go and make disciples of all nations. Baptizing them. If there is anyone that has need of healing, heal them. Then he called his two of disciples together. Gave them the power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. The same power that heals is the one that cast out devils. Every Christian, if you can preach, you can heal. If you can preach, you can cast out devils. 
If you can lead someone to Christ, you can heal. If you can lead someone to Christ, you can cast out devils. Healing is not a special gift. Can I shock you? You don't need a special anointing for healing. Hey, name of Jesus. I will know the names. King of all kings. No other name. You know what Jesus said? He said, the things which you see me do, it's not even me that is doing it. It's the Father. It's the Father. The things you are seeing me doing. He said, it's not me. It's the Father that is doing it. John chapter 20 verse 19. John 20 verse 19. He told them. He said, assuredly, as the Father has sent me, John 20, 19. Then the same day evening, being the first of the week, that the doors were shut, Jesus came and meet and said to them, Peace be with you. Verse 20. Verse 20. When he had said this, he showed them his hand and decided. And then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Verse 21. So Jesus said to them, Peace to you. Everybody now. Come on now. Everybody, everybody, I would like you to say it. Everybody want to go? As a father. You know, this is Jesus. He has finished his own part of the job. Resurrected. Died, resurrected. Somebody was still doubting if he resurrected. He appeared again. It's a seed. He said, now, the excitement is not to just see that I am here. He said, now, peace be unto you. As the Father has sent me, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and the power, and He went about doing good, healing all that we oppressed of the devil. As the Father has sent me, and He healed them all. As the Father has sent me, and He healed those that had need of 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 healing. As the Father has sent me, and He had compassion on them, and He healed them all. And they tried to touch His body because power went out of Him, and He healed them all. No wonder the handkerchief of somebody was healing. No wonder the shadow of somebody was healing. Why? Peace be unto you. Come on now. Peace be unto you. As the Father. So I sent Francis. As the Father sent Jesus. So he sends Francis. So he sends Bucci. As the Father has sent Jesus. So he sends me. Luke chapter 9 verse 1. So he called the 12 and gave them power. Disciples. Not just 12 human beings. <laughs> and he called the 12. Gave them power to cast. As the father. I didn't finish that. Verse 21. As the father has sent me. You know the one I'm talking about? John. As, as the 21. 21. Father has sent me. I also send you. Look at 22. Look at 22. And he, when he has said this, he breathed upon them. <laughs> How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and with power. And the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. When he has said this, he told them, this thing will not work except, are you ready for it? He said, then he breathed upon them and said, receive Verse 23. Read, 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 read. Come on now. Read, 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 read. Read it again. Read it again. This one will have. This is what will. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. Read. One more time. One more time. One more time. No, don't, don't say it like that. Don't say it like that. Put your name. Yeah, 
Man of God, sir, does this need the revelation? How, how more can I preach it to make it simpler? Maybe Igbo version. Igbo haram anybody. This guy. Didn't he know Abuna? Ununa Aba haram me ha. Aba. Didn't he know Abuna? Unu ne eji de me ha. Eji de wo. Ah, who is the person saying they cannot forgive your own sin? That, that you need to kill God for your own sin. You are the one forgiving sins. If you call me on the phone, I can hold your sin against you. You didn't see it. I said, this is your sin. This is you did. It won't be forgiving you. You will have problem. For all, opening your mouth to say, I need to sacrifice for sin. Ah. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, I forgive you. No, forgive you. Tell your neighbor, I forgive your sins. But you know the harder one. You know the harder one. To forgive yourself. I said the problem of sin is in you people's hand to handle it. As the father. You, know, you didn't understand. Jesus wanted to hear somebody and say, ah, why is he healing this person? Why is he healing him? Has he first of all asked about the guy's forgiveness? Jesus said, which one is better? Is it to heal him or to forgive him? He said, whichever one that you want to do first. He said, I have healed him. You collect your forgiveness. <laughs> the problem is, ah, oh, is he now saying that he has power to forgive? He said, yes. As the Father has sent me. He said, now I have, I have finished my own work here. He said, the same job that the Father, the reason the Father sent me here, that is the same job I am taking now. And I'm handing it over to Pastor Francis. He said, now you heal the sick, you cast out devils, you forgive, you want to forgive, retain the one you want to retain. Can I shock you? You were the one that retained your sin. Yes, sir. You were the one. I'm not your problem. Your former pastor is not your problem. You are your problem. That's why you are calling, sir, please. He's still doing me like this. You have not forgiven. You have not. You, you are the one to sanctify yourself. You are the one. No, no, nobody will do it. So you are saying, is this Bible? You are not wondering. Is, is Bible? No Quran. Check it in your own. You will see it. As the Father has sent me. As the Father has sent me. He now told him, he said, that, that is not the problem. Assuming if it is just the way the Father has sent me. John chapter 14 verse 12. He said, then most assuredly. John 14 12. Are you in the spirit over there? Everybody read now. One more time. He said, some people have not even manifested the one, the normal one that Jesus manifested as he sent them. Jesus is even telling you there is a further revelation to it. Most assuredly, I say to you, come on now, everybody. He who believes in me, the works that I do, 
He will do all say. This is year one. Somebody say year one. Come on now. Somebody say year one. What is year one? He said, the work which I do, you will do. That includes forgiving sin. Healing. Casting out devils. See, listen to me. In the name of Jesus, you will go out this week and sicknesses will disappear in your hands. Ah, you didn't hear me. I said you will go out this week and demons will flee as they see you. Demon saw Jesus. He said, ah, ah. Demon saw Jesus and started quoting scriptures for him. He said, the time of our destruction has not come. We, we are now on. Did we disturb you? Did we disturb you? We are in our own territory. You crossed over the river to come and meet us. This is, he said, the time, our time has not come. We can't destroy us. You, your own, you are traveling to the village to go and appease demon. village man that is inside the bush somewhere you traveled from town you enter they say remove your slippers you remove and enter you need to give your life to Christ and begin to enjoy the benefits of being a disciple follower of Christ Because it is to the disciples he called and gave them power. <laughs> the name of Jesus. I have another name. King of all. But that was year one, 14, 12. Well, that was the year one, right? That's year one. Let's look at year two. Is that person in the spirit? Believe in me. The work that I do, he will also do in year one. He said, but in year two, and greater ones. He said, because I am living. He said, I'm living. I won't be here. He said, where I have stopped. That is why Chris Oyakilomi is jamming stadium that Jesus didn't jam. And nature is jamming stadium that Jesus didn't jam. Oyede boy is building church that Jesus didn't build. Yes, he's greater works. Did Jesus have private plane? You are just, he said greater works. <laughs> ah. Where did you hear that the, that the shadow of Jesus healed the sick? The greater works. Greater works. Lift up your hand up. In the name of Jesus, I decree. If you believe, you say, more surely I say, if you believe, how many of you believe it that this week, as you step out, you will lay your hands upon sicknesses and they will run away? So, it is it, it's just like when Pastor was preaching. It, it is the revelation, it is the understanding of it. It's not just in Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It's in understanding what was handed over to you. Yes, Understanding what was given to you. Greater works. Greater works. In the name of Jesus I decree. All over the city of Anisha. People will know that an army was released this week. You will jump sicknesses and they will disappear. You will jump demons and they will disappear. If you believe it, shout at a man like you are sure. 
casting out devils and be devil tormented now. How? 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 Pastor, I don't know what I am doing. I don't, I don't, for how many years I've never had bad dream? Where, where do you, are you mad? Will Jesus be dreaming bad dream and wake up and say blood of Jesus? No. All the things you are doing and fighting, fighting, fighting is because you do not understand the victory that is in you, that, that Jesus got. Jesus did, is not the one covering. Jesus gave you dominion over this. You are the one running it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, that's why he said, he said, you are the one running it. He said, it is what you bind here. I bind here. He called me the loose way, loose way. You know, the system of calling God and saying, God, should we lose is wrong. Should we bind? Is it your will to bind? Is it your will to lose? He said, the one you lose, heaven has lost it. If two of you come together pertaining any matter as a church and agree, say, it's given to you. You must know this. You must get it to you, man. You will lay your hands upon it upon your parents. You will lay your hands upon and around you. And they, the Bible said, and if Jesus, he said, virtue was living him. They called me on the phone. I went to pray for a lady. She had not slept. She was not sleeping for two days. I entered the house. I entered the house. Sat. No prayer. Sat with her in the parlor. She slept beside me. Slept. I told her sister, leave her. Bring pillow. Your presence should bring security. Your presence should bring it. He said, why? Because I am living. Jesus cannot be in heaven and be here when you are here. You didn't see it. You didn't see that part. He said, I am living. That's why. The reason is because he's not here. <laughs> you are seeing here. He handed over this place. You are still calling him to leave the affairs. When he has given you the power to cast out the devil, when you see the devil, don't you know? You know, he said, God, is this devil or is this not devil? Cast it out. When you see healing, somebody that needs, don't you? You don't. A, a man, a man told me, he said, he said, he said, he said he, what do you want? He said, that I may be made, if it is your will. He said, I will. It's my will. John, I wish above all things, top priority that you be in good health. is top priority. It's not a prayer. God does not punish people with sickness. Punish people with sickness. Or there are people who are people sick. Can they check? They check. No rube. Oh, no. In him there is no sickness. There is no darkness. If you are here hearing my voice, if you are hearing my voice, whether you are lying, you are on sight. Right now, every sickness in your body disappears now. In the name of Jesus. There is no other name given. More shortly, I say. Greater works. Greater works. Greater works. He had finished promising them that. And somebody will say, ah, ah. I, are you are you sure all those promises that he made will come to pass? Luke chapter 10 verse 17. Luke chapter 10 verse 17. Therefore the 70 return. Come on. Everybody read. Everybody read. Want to go? Then the 70 return with great joy. We are subject to us. 
in your name. It wasn't. Fisherman, tax collector, suddenly enter, use the name of Jesus, begin to flog everywhere. <laughs> when they came back, Jesus said, How was your week? He said, How? Even the demons were subject to us. Ah, Jesus in the walk in your name, demons. In your name. Let me say it again. If you believe it and you will try it this week, your heart will run miracles. Listen, this is what the church is. You bring people, empower them. You are not the one in need of deliverance. You are a deliverer. Should I say it again? I say you are not the one in need of deliverance. You are the deliverer. You are the deliverer. You are the deliverer. Your family should know it. There is a deliverer in this house. Someone has encountered Jesus. Your life can't be the same. If any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. All things have become. You can't be going to church and your life is the same. No! You are playing religion then. I don't know what is happening to me in my stomach. That is your boss. Can I pray with you, ma? In the name of Jesus. You are not coming. You are not coming. Even if there is something you had done before then, forgive yourself. You have power to forgive yourself. Yeah. Father, and you are no longer coming in the volume of yourself. In the name of Jesus. In the, you are attacking it in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Listen to me. Task collect or went. It happened. Do you know that the 70 is different from the 12? Oh? There are not people that are close. Former and shower will be there. Oh. It's, not even, it's, not, it's not Peter and Paul and James. Oh. 70, they are farther away. Their name not mentioned in the Bible anywhere. They were called this. They are so insignificant that they call them servants. On Sunday, you will return with great joy. Ah, your amen did it short. I said, on Sunday, you will return with great joy. I'm talking to somebody that believes it. I said, on Sunday, you will return with great joy. If you believe it, shout, I believe. Shout it, I believe. Shout it, I believe. Say, for the power, for that which you've given me, I give them. I give them. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. So I send you. So I send you. So I send you as a father has said how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and no power. And he went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. This week, God is with you. Yeah. The amen I'm hearing in this church does not represent the number of people. I said, God is with you this week. I said, God is with you this week. In the name of Jesus. Can you just in the first one minute, can you pray in tongues as you declare this week? My hand wrote signs and wonders. I shut up a My hand wrote signs. My hand wrote signs. Come on, you need to pray like you are sure. You have to pray like you're sure. My hand wrote signs.